you're going to open up the legs, circling the chest all the way around. Opening up the back, just chest, other way. Big circles. Nice big circles. Good. Back foot to the center, we're going to rotate the shoulders. Nice. Pelvis. arms, big circles. Now we're going to stretch to one side. Good, up and over, onto the other side. Back into the centre. Now we're going to roll the spine all the way down. This time we're going to send the legs to the back. That's it. Holding the plank there, waking up the core muscles. We're going to lift one up, arm up if we can, then down, second side. Back down, send the hips nice and high up towards the ceiling, stretching into a downwards dog. And we're going to walk the feet on the spot here, loosening up the hips and walking the feet towards the hands. Bend the legs, roll the spine all the way up, nice and slowly. Perfect. Okay, and we're ready for the first exercise. Um, I'm going to be starting with a back and foot exercise combined. Um, if you're new here and you've never done contemporary dance, welcome. It's a beautiful discipline. Uh, but also what we're going to do is making sure that we are easy on ourselves. We don't want to um, take it as a workshop. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. So let's begin with our feet um, part of the exercise. We're going to go long one and two, three. Or brush back five six weight is in onto the supporting back leg weight into the center straightening both legs seven and drag the front leg in eight repeat the same thing second side one and two three and four five six weight into the center seven bring it in eight now let's link together upper body and feet exercise. So we go five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and then lift up, balance down, long leg for two, three, four and five, center, bring it in, second side, one and two. Three, four and five and six, center seven, eight. We're then going to turn out and repeat exactly the same thing, upper body and lower body with um, everything turned out, okay? So we're turning out from the hips, down to the knees, down to the ankles and rotating the legs. So we're going to go five, six, seven and one and two and arch and center then we push the arch lifting up lower down sending out two three brush back four five down six weight to the center drag it in using your adductors second side and one and two three and four then we push we lift we lower sending out and in out brush back down six center seven using your adductors bring everything back in we're going to do this in parallel right and left we're going to shake have a break turn out right and left let's do it with some music okay Ready? Parallel 
to begin with, making sure that your toes are facing the front and heels towards the back. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Down and down. We push, lift up, lower down, standing up. Two, three, four, and five, six, center seven. Drag it in, second song. times if not three times just to get the back and the feet nice and ready for the rest of the class and then we're going to move on on to something different a little bit more of a let's call it routine exercise obviously we're restricted by the space but there's always something that we can do with the counts one two and three four and five six seven Eight, left leg to the back, one, two, right leg, three, four, hop, five, head start, six, seven, eight. So what we're doing here is from our legs, the head initiates the movement, it's going to pull you down towards the floor, the rest of the body will follow, we're going to change into facing the front with our hips, then back to the camera for me, and then the body will ripple through the spine back into the center, okay? So here we're really working on shifting the body weight, transferring it from one leg to another, testing that balance and coordination, okay? So let's say we finished the tilt and we're back into the center. The second part of the exercise is gonna go back, arm and leg, open, a little bit of an arch, engaging the core and then bring everything down into the center to swap, right side, open up and bring it in. We're going to come up, gentle hop to the side, head initiates, changing all the way around, ready to begin again. Let's link both parts together. So we're going to start, one, two and three, Four and five and six, center seven in eight and one, two and three, four and five, and around and up, repeat out. Okay, a couple of things to think of when we do this exercise is to make sure that we really send the energy out to the side here and that my body weight is mainly on this supporting leg here. Same thing as I shift it over this way. Leg has majority of the weight up and over, finding that balance before I lift the leg into a lovely tilt, making sure that your hands are nice and alive, foot is pointed, sending energy out of the skull all the way. And then from here, we're going to come into the center, closing the legs into parallel, Ready to go back and down, back and down, hop, head starts and going around. Let's do it with some music. How could we know that there wouldn't be tomorrow? No, but it feels if keeping with the counts feels too much, please feel free 
just to focus on the quality of the movement and really feeling that transferring of the weight and take it one step at a time. If you're more used to my classes, then let's start thinking as well and keeping the right tempo. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. breath, really extending and feeling all those muscles working. Here we go. Out, two, out, till, set, out, back, back, hop, round. Good. Lovely stuff, okay, same thing here. Please take as much time as you need to to really nail this exercise and to make sure that you feel confident with it and that you can carry on. Keep hydrated as well. I'm just gonna have a sip of water or tea rather. And then we're going to move on onto our final part of the class. Like I mentioned before, this is just a taster. So we're going to be cooling down and I'll give you a little bit of a stretch. Perhaps we'll use the floor. If you want to use a mat, please feel free to do that. Um, and if you want a softer surface and you don't have a mat, feel free to use um, whether it's a rug or a carpet. Um, but we won't be staying on the floor for too long anyway. Okay, I'll put some music on. Feel free to choose the music that you love the most, something nice and relaxing. And I will go for this one. Okay, let's begin in a nice wide position over here. Good. And we're going to bend the legs. And we're going to go all the way down to whatever feels comfortable for us today. And perhaps we're going to place our Hands on the floor, if this is comfortable, feel free to adjust because of this position. Close your legs if you need to. Just feeling that stretch in the hips. And keep it moving and active so that we're not static in one position. And now from here, if you want to a little bit more of a stretch, you can use your elbows to push out. But very important that we keep our back nice and straight as we do that. Place our hands on the floor, turn into a parallel stretch, sending the hips up to the sky, head down, rest your head. And nice and slowly, we're going to palm all the way up. And we're going to 
attack the Tilazander. <laughs> We're gonna attack the Tilazander. We're gonna extend the hips up towards the ceiling, stretch into the downwards dog. And feel free to bend the legs to increase that stretch and flatten the spine. And then we're going to walk the feet towards the hands. Walk, walk, walk. And once you're here, you just need to bend the legs and very slowly draw the spine up. And once you're in the center, we're going to lift the shoulders up, breathing in. And breathe out. One more time, breathing in. Thank you so much for following along and for tuning in with this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that we can make more of these videos from home to keep us motivated and dancing. Um, but here's my present for you. You can watch this as many times as you like. Um, and please send your feedback back to Pavilion Dance if you would like to see more of these. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.